Hey guys, so it's Monday morning and we're having a bit of a situation. I was supposed to leave for work like 15 minutes ago, but I cannot find my keys and so I cannot leave the apartment, otherwise I'm locked out. One, I don't want to leave my apartment unlocked, but also if you leave the building, you're locked out because you need a fob to get into the building. So I'm like, oh my god, freaking out. I'm looking everywhere. The only thing I can think of is, okay, I didn't go anywhere yesterday, did not leave the house at all. So that leaves me to look at Saturday. And the last time I left was, I left to go pick up the laundry out of the laundry room because it was done drying. I went down, got the laundry, came back up. So if anything, I left my keys in the laundry room, which you need the fob to get into. So I can't get into the laundry room unless I just lurk by the door and follow someone in. I'm gonna go down there right now and see if I can see the keys, but most likely if someone found them, they would have returned them to the rental office. I just tried calling them, but no one answered because they technically don't even open till nine and it's quarter to nine. So I'm just going to have to wait a little bit. I might go downstairs real quick and peek in the laundry room and see if I can see them sitting on a counter. And then if not, whatever, I'll just have to wait till nine anyways and contact the rental office and see if someone returned them. Ugh, Cause I, like I can't go to work without my keys and Christian's gone this week. So it's even worse because if, if I couldn't, like let's say there was a situation where I could get my keys after work or something, like after Christian got back, I could just wait. He doesn't get home till maybe an hour and a half after I do. I could have just waited for him to let me in, but he's gone. He's gone, he has the other set of keys and he's gone for a whole week. But in other news, my dad just sent me these pictures basically there's this cat that snuck her kittens into the house because he lives on a farm and there's cats there and he heard this meowing one day and there are these kittens in the closet <laughs> so there's like a little tiny black one and a little tiny gray one and the mom just comes in and out to get them they're so cute <laughs> this is a picture from like a week ago or like yeah, i don't know five days ago and then my dad just sent me these ones all right, so I got a hold of the rental office and they didn't have the keys, but they told me to call the maintenance office because they might have them. So I had to wait a few minutes because no one answered when I first called because it still wasn't nine o'clock yet. But I just called again, someone answered, they have my keys so I can go pick them up and just, ugh. I was like stressing out. What if they don't have my keys? I'll have to pay to get a spare set. But if they didn't have my keys, then odds are I would never get them back is the thing. Cause yeah, I could get a spare set of keys, but I need my original set back eventually. So they have it, it's all good. I'm gonna go get it and go to work. So see you guys later. Hey guys, so I just got off work an hour late. Actually it's like 40, an hour and 15 minutes late or something. Cause I kind of dinked around before leaving. I was texting Christian and Jacob, but I made up my last time, so that's good. And Jacob's like, oh, do you want to go to Earl's tonight? And I was thinking, oh, I stayed at work late tonight, you know, I said, well, maybe tomorrow will work better because I'm staying late at work, but I guess he wouldn't be able to go out tonight until around eight o'clock anyways. So I think we're gonna go tonight. I'm just waiting for confirmation from him. So yeah, I don't know. It's just really nice out, feeling good. I had, I don't know, just a good day because I wasn't feeling tired or anything. Just working away on my animation. It was nice. And I just kept thinking of Frozen the whole time because the stuff I was doing for the second half of the day is a guy is going up a set of stairs and his hands going up the railing and all I could picture was Anna in the reprise of first, the first time in forever, for the first time in forever. Sorry, I'm like really hyper right now. Um, there's that shot of Anna going up the stairs and I always stare at her hand the whole time going up the railing and I was wondering if I would ever animate something like that and here I am animating something like that except it's from behind. But. So I could think of all day was frozen. <laughs> also, uh, my boss at the end of the day today asked me to reach out to any animators I know because he's looking to hire maybe one or two more people. And so I'm like, oh my God, the power is in my hands. I can like contact someone and be like, do you want a job? Oh God, that's, that's too much power. Although I think, I think almost everyone I graduated with is already working at a different studio. And this would be more just short-term work, like maybe a three-month contract. So I don't know if anyone's up for doing that, but I'll reach out to people anyway. So here's my attempt at trying to look Earl's worthy. 
had basically just changed out of my sweaty sweater <laughs> and uh, put a bow in my hair. I mean, there's not much I can do. My hair, it's day three hair and it's been in a pony all day. So I'm like, good enough. So I'm just gonna chill out for a bit until Jacob's ready to go. It kind of actually worked out nicely because he said if we go tonight, we won't be able to go till later. And I can't go till later anyways, because I was at work late. So it worked out nicely. I'm scrolling through Facebook and who do I see? Christian tagged in some random person's picture, probably his coworker. Aw, that's a cute picture. I mean, manly and handsome and such. Uh, it looks like everyone I graduated with has a job, which I kind of already knew. I was just double checking. I was creeping on LinkedIn, like creeping through all my connections. <laughs> Ah, I don't want to steal someone away from a long-term job for a short-term job, so mm, this is tough. So, I need to talk about something serious. Do I get ribs or do I not get ribs at Earl's? Ah! <laughs> I did have ribs at the start of my previous diet, but, and I was fine. So that's kind of my excuse, but I don't know. It's kind of expensive, but at the same time, I don't eat out much. So I'm like, hmm, treat yourself, girl. But uh, I don't know, we'll see. I'll take another look at the menu, see if anything else appeals to me, but I might go for the ribs again. They were so good. Oh my God, I can't help myself. Plus that side dish, it was like, um, what did they call it? I don't know, but it was some kind of potato salad thing but really it was like a baked potato <laughs> mushed up all together but it was so good <sighs> yeah i might have to get the ribs mm. you also don't want to get something you could easily make at home or easily make to that same standard of quality and taste and i never buy ribs i've actually never cooked ribs myself so that's a, that's a pretty good treat for myself now my sister texts me this cute picture of Ben. Ooh, <laughs> Guess who has a new lock screen? Ooh, Jacob sends me a Snapchat, so I can't show it to you, but he's all like, <laughs> he wrote, I got jumped. And then there's like, he looks all beat up. And I don't know if he's filming or if it's real. And now I'm freaking out. Cause they're like, I don't want to make a joke of it if it's real, but I know he does a lot of weird stuff because he's a film student. And so, oh, get back to me, Jacob. I'm freaking out. It was fake, as I suspected. Because I was also like, well, why can't he eat until 8 o'clock? He's probably filming. Yep, I was right. <laughs> it was very convincing makeup, though. <laughs> Jacob shows up looking like this. Oh, my God. Here, let me get you a face cloth. <laughs> So we're at Earl's now and I got myself a raspberry margarita and it is very very delicious and Jacob has the lime margarita <laughs> Oh my god, this is looking so good. I already took a bite of this. It's amazing mm. Jacob got a bunch of fries of his It was really funny because at the end of our meal Jacob's mom called him and she was freaking out because he posted a picture of his like bloody makeup on Facebook and I guess she was freaking out because she thought it was real. It was so funny because he was just trying to convince her. He's like, no mom, it's not real. <laughs> and it was, oh, it was almost as if she wouldn't believe him that it wasn't real. And so it was really, really funny. But I'm back home now. So yeah, it's already getting pretty late, so I should probably just start editing right away. But I just wanted to say a word about vlogging in restaurants. I'm still not comfortable with that. I'm usually comfortable vlogging in a mall or something, but when it comes to turning the camera on myself in a restaurant, it just feels too enclosed and too small. So I'm not quite comfortable with that yet, but also I just kind of forget to vlog because I'm busy just enjoying the experience and I'm like, oh yeah, I've got to vlog. So I usually end up just showing the food and that's it. So I will train myself though one day. I will vlog anywhere and everywhere and I won't care. Oh God, I need to take my contacts out. My eyes are killing me right now. Anyways, thanks for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow. So I decided to watch The Conjuring and I'm like 15 seconds into it and I'm already freaked out. Look at this creepy doll thing. Oh my God. God. So I, I love horror movies, but it's the reason I love them is because I like I like being scared, but I don't like horror movies that are just like a random slasher.